Okay, so we're continuing problems from the CK12 book on algebra that discuss evaluating expressions by plugging in these numbers for these variables. So in all of these expressions here, x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to negative 3, and w is equal to 4. So what we do is, for the first one, a, it says 8x cubed, or to the third power, and this exponent, unless you see parentheses around the coefficient and the variable, it's just connected to x. So this means x to the third power, and then whatever that number is, times 8. And here, x is negative 1. So it's really 8 times, well, negative 1 to the third power. Well, negative 1 to the third power means negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is still just negative 1. So really, this is 8 times negative 1, and that's negative 8. Okay, so we go to the next one. It says 5x squared over 6z cubed. So now I'm going to plug in. We know that uh, 5 times x is negative 1 to the squared power over 6 times z, which is negative 3, to the cubed power. So now, negative 1 squared is positive 1, and that times 5 is just 5. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27, right? Because 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27, and we have 3 negative signs here. So this gives it remain negative, and that times 6. So we have 6 times negative 27 in the denominator. And this right here, you might recognize, well, oh, 6 times times 30 is 180, and this is 18 less than that, um, right? So it's actually going to be uh, 163, or negative 163. So 5 over negative 163. And, oops, 60, sorry. Not 63, but 62. Let me fix that. And, I, and all I did right there is to say, oh, well, 6 times 30 is 180, but tw 27 is three groups of, of 6 less than than 30. So it's 18 less than, than 180, and that's 162. All right. In the next problem, we have 3 times z squared minus 5 times w squared, and that means, well, z again is negative 3, and that squared, well, it's just negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, so this first expression is going to be 3 times 9, and then minus 5 times w squared, w squared is 16, well, 3 times 9 is 27, 5 times 16 is 80, so it's 27 minus 80. Now when I think about this, I say, oh, well, 27 taken away 27 is 0. But we're taking away 80. And 80 is how much more, right, than just 27. How much more do they actually take away? Well, it's 53 more. So we take 27 away from 27, and then you still have 53 more to take away. So here the answer would be negative 53. Here in the last one, we have x squared minus y squared. Straightforward problem here. So, that, so, so x is, is negative 1, so negative 1 squared. Minus y squared, y is just 2, so it's 2 squared. And negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1, which is just positive 1. Minus 2 squared, so minus 4, and I get negative 3 for this one. And we'll do some more in the next video. Hope this helps.